Good morning, everybody, and welcome into another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. I am so happy to be here. Um, I'll tell you right off, I am behind on watching videos and commenting. Um, I had a COVID scare this week and uh, just a lot happening. It's just been a really hectic week, I'll be honest. Um, but I did get up early this morning at 5 a.m. and I created for a while because I just was dying to create. <laughs> I, I barely um, got to play this week at all, so it was so nice to spend some time making some cards. And I have three cards to share with you, um, and I already sh shared a video, which some of you might have already seen this morning, um, and I did a little Christmas in July share on that video. Um, but I did some product news updates of some new things that are coming and uh, different things that I had been notified of. So uh, if you want to watch that video, it's the previous video on my channel. But let's dive right in. Um, I'm loving everything that everybody is sharing. I saw a lot of pro projects. I just don't think I saw everything from last week. Um, and uh, But I did see some wonderful Christmas stuff coming out, and uh, it's so fun to see what everybody makes every time. So all of you that join in Saturday Morning Makes, thanks for making, um, creating so much fun for everyone. Uh, and uh, I'm going to just dive right in. So I did share on my previous video that these XOXO border dies are bringing, um, Emma from My Creative Time is bringing them back. So those of you that wanted them, she will. She placed an order. She will have the dies coming in, and I will update you when you're, they're in her store, or you can just watch her store, or even send her a message and let her know that you're hoping to get a set. Um, but these are just such a wonderful die, and I did use these again in my projects today. Um, I also used this wonderful loopy border die, um, and let's see, this one is the uh, Large Loopy Tag Die, MCT D416. This is from her latest July release, her coffee release. Um, and I love both of these Loopy uh, dies. There's a large and a small one. And I used them on my video a few weeks back. Um, I think it's two weeks ago uh, when I did... Um, I, I did an entire Saturday Morning Makes devoted to her July release because she asked me to design for her. So if you haven't seen that video, lots of wonderful coffee products and just fun dyes and stuff. I also used this die. This is an older die from Paper Tray Ink back in the day. Um, and I do not have the name of it marked on here. I also do not know if it's any... Uh, any longer is it available. It may be. You could go to their website and look for it, but it's a three-piece die set, and uh, I did use this on my cards today. I also use this little um, old uh, stamp set with all of these handmade um, card uh, for the back of your card stamps, and this is an old stamp set that Nicole Hetty designed for Paper Tray Ink back in 2012, and as you guys know, a lot of my stuff is old, um, but I just like to use everything as much as I can. So this is a newer stamp set. This was from the spring release that uh, from Creative Expressions. These are designs that are done by my friend Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam is over in the UK. Hello, Sam. And uh, she has sent me happy mail several times. If you guys follow my channel, then you've seen the beautiful cards that she creates. She has Instagram feed that you can follow, and I will try and link all of her information down below. But if you have not seen her stamp line over at Creative, Creative Expressions um, on scrapbook.com, you should go and check them out because uh, she has a lovely line art style, very similar um, uh, to the style of stamps that I love, um, kind of a homespun look to them, if you will. And uh, I just love all that she does. So um, this is one that I've had in my stash for a while, and I finally got to play with it. And I just had so much fun. Um, and it's not even back in place on the, the stamp set correctly here because I used it so much this week, um, mainly yesterday, last night and this morning. So uh, I also use this Gingham Gardens paper pad. This is one of my favorite paper pads from My Mind's Eye. And uh, this is one that my friend Sue Crozier just sent to me. And so I've had this up on my desk upstairs and I've been using it uh, to create my cards the last couple weeks. So it's just a gorgeous paper pad. And uh, um, I have it also in the 12 by 12. And this originated from a beautiful set of fabrics um, that was designed, oh my gosh, I can't think of her name right now. But she's one of my favorite fabric designers. And then uh, my mind's eye um, asked, uh, if they could use her art to do a paper also. So anyway, that's where this paper pad comes from, and I just love the colors and uh, the beautiful um, designs in there. 
And then the other thing that I used was my digital stamp set. Um, again, these are available for pre-order. Um, they'll be mailing out at the end of July. And there's a, a, I will link the stamp bundle down below, but you can buy them a la carte or in the bundle. And this is a Diana Markham set from Adorn It. And uh, unfortunately, they were not able to send us the stamps, so we just got the digitals. And uh, these are all four by six stamp sets. Um, my sizes might be slightly different than what you'll get in the stamp, but the stamp set is a four by six set. And uh, this is about the right size, but um, just so you can kind of see it, I went ahead and printed it out. I printed two to a page because I really love these strawberry ones and I'm sure I will be using um, them more, coloring them more. And uh, they also have lots of other sets. So there's a total of six sets. I've shown them in a video, which you can go back and look for on my channel. Um, I show all six sets in a video along with the paper packs from Adorn It. So um, those are all the products that I use to create my cards for today. And uh, I thought I would go ahead and get started. I'll start with the one using the Diana Markham Digital. Um, I also use that beautiful My Creative Time Loopy Border Die in the background. And I just thought this turned out so cute. You know how much I love my red and white gingham. Um, and especially during the summertime and at Christmas. And uh, I just thought it was a perfect thing to add uh, with these adorable strawberry basket stamps. Um, and then you'll notice that this sweet friend... Um, sentiment that I used is actually from that stamp set that I just showed you from Sam Poole. So um, that's where this sweet friend comes from. And I just added a little bit of coloring in the letters um, just to kind of pick up on the red color. So the die set again is my creative time. This is from Adorn It, these digitals. But again, they're only going to be available for sale in Photopolymer and they will be shipping at the end of the end of July if you order them. Um, and then on the inside of this card, um, and again, I did color these with Copics, if you're wondering. So I just used some Copic markers. Okay. And then on the inside, I just added a little bit of the green gingham and another one of the strawberries and just a little scalloped edge die cut. And then on the back, I added a designer paper from one of my 12 by 12 paper packs. I believe it was from Joann's. And uh, then I added another strawberry and the little flower that comes with the stamp set. And then this is one of those paper tray ink um, back of your card stamps that Nicole Hetty designed back in 2012. So that is this card. And I, I love how this one turned out. It also is great for the blues um, in July uh, hashtag that my friend Anna White is doing. If you don't follow Anna White on YouTube, you want to go check her out. And also check out all the stamp ambassadors for Adorn It. So Miss Marilyn G. Hi, Marilyn. Um, <clears throat> Cynthia, who is RN Jetta, and she has a YouTube channel and Instagram. Same with Marilyn G. Uh, D, who is Elegant Embellishments. She's on YouTube and Instagram, and I believe all everybody's also on Facebook. And then Jen Levy, who is Strawberry Cream 39. So uh, all of us are stamp ambassadors, which means we receive the stamping products and other things that they send us, like they sent us an India Ink stamp pad this week. Um, they sent us some paint supplies, some uh, colored pencils, um, uh, watercolor pencils. So uh, we do receive supplies from them, and then we make samples to help promote the sale of the Diana Markham stamp line and her recipe stamp club. So I will link everything down below, but um, that is this is my product project for Adorn It this week. So I did that one, and then I was having so much fun, I just... Uh, love that sweet friend sentiment and since I had this out I decided to go ahead and use this beautiful Sam Pool stamp set from Creative Expressions to create two more cards. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards. Um, the first one I paper pieced. So I went ahead and took some of those papers from the My Mind's Eye paper pad that I showed you. I used this paper right here which has kind of a back. Let me see if I can show it to you. Um, do I have a piece? Have I used both? No, here we go. So I used this paper pad, uh, this piece of paper to paper piece, and then I also used the back of it, which is this beautiful um, stripe uh, to, to add to the card. And uh, so you can see this is the front of the paper, this is the back of the paper. 
and uh, so I paper pieced the the little um, watering can, and then I set I paper pieced the heart a second time so I could pop it up. So it's popped up on pop dots, and then I did use some of this lawn trimmings from Lawn Fawn, and it's this beautiful craft color, and I made just a little bow, and I added that with. Um, some of my multimedia matte glue okay so that's how i glued that on there and uh and then i just colored the flowers in with copics to blend with the paper and i used the sweet friend uh stamp um and i did uh edge everything with um some ink from a from um memento called toffee crunch and uh then i uh I did add a little bit of the, the orange colored Copic marker into the D and the S here and also the E's just to kind of pick up on this orange throughout the card. So there's kind of three areas where you see orange along with the orange that's on here. And then on the inside, I added that same mat from Paper Tray Ink. And this time I did add the little die that adds the stitching to the mat. So I didn't use the stitching out here because this was such a big stamp image. Um, so I just left the front mat plain, but on this one I added the stitching. Um, and that's a neat thing about that die set. Uh, and then on the back I used that little handmade by stamp again, and I just added a little strip of the pattern paper just to make the back of the card look pretty. So that is this card, and I love how this turned out. Um, it's so fun to paper piece things. It always is a fun way to create a different look. But then I also just had to color <laughs> this beautiful watering can. And I was in the mood to just make something really bright and pretty for summer. And so I picked out, um, these are actually, I should have brought the markers down, but I used some Tombow as well as Marvi Uchida um, markers to color this. And uh, I just picked a really pretty turquoise color. I had this scrap of green paper on my desk and I wanted to use that with this um, houndstooth or not houndstooth but a uh, gingham uh, turquoise color so uh, that is how I planned my card and then I just colored this to match the papers and then I did the same thing with that sweet friend sentiment I added the green into the letters just to help um, balance out green on three parts of the card, sort of. So um, I just think this turned out so cute. You can see that I used the XOXO border dies to create my mat that I stamped on. And then inside I used them again. And again, that's a My Creative Time die set. And I, I did add uh, a, just a little banner to the inside to make create interest. And then on the back, I used that same die set. I used the smallest one to stamp my handmade buy on and make the back of the card look pretty too. So that is, those are my cards for today, uh, watering cans and strawberries. And I hope that you guys um, enjoyed seeing them and sharing in my Saturday morning makes. And I cannot wait to go out and catch up on seeing what everybody is creating this weekend. I am hoping to bring some Christmas in July um, projects to you. I did share in my last video some of the drawings that I'm still working on. Um, some gingerbread drawings. Uh, and this is probably the one that I'm going to color next. So I'll give you another peek just in case you didn't see that other video. But this is a ginger girl and she's holding a, a gingerbread cookie in her hands and it says gingerbread on her apron. So this is the next one that I'm going to do the line art for, which is just outlining it in black. Then I'll erase all the pencil, get it all ready as a digital um, and then I'll probably color it too, so or paper piece it, I don't know. But I hope to come back with um, an actual project made with this drawing that I did. So um, as I mentioned, a lot of what I'm going to share for Christmas Makes 2022, which is the hashtag I'm using, is going to involve more of um, some of the things that I am creating. I hope to also do some traditional tags, um, but it might not be until uh, things settle down around here a little bit between the garden and having to mow lawns and all the stuff that summer brings with it. I don't have as much time to create in the summer. So um, I'm just happy I got something made this week and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these beautiful stamps from Sam Poole as well as Adorn It and the Diana Markham, um, these adorable strawberry baskets. So um, thanks for taking a look at my Saturday morning makes. I will link 
things down below for those of you that want to know what products I used. Um, and I just thank you all for joining. And I, I send my love out to everybody that has anything hard going on in their lives. I have several family members that have been struggling with COVID all week, and my love goes out to them. They're, they're all doing better now, which is wonderful. Um, and uh, we've also had a, a little baby in our family that had COVID, a, a, a grandbaby on the Norwood side. So um, she's doing better in his home, and uh, we're still keeping them all in our prayers. So uh, everybody that's out there struggling through COVID, my heart is with you. Those of you that are sick or going through medical things, um, my heart is with you too. And uh, to all the crafty community, thanks for sharing joy and creating art with me. And uh, I just so appreciate you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Choose joy. Bye.